All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So I actually got this guy done a while ago. I believe he was the second unit I ever maxed out links for. And I was planning to do a showcase immediately, but then I got distracted and I forgot and it just never really happened. But today I was like, yo, I don't think I ever did that showcase for my Rosé. And since there's literally nothing to do on Global, Right now feels like the perfect time to finally get it done. Okay, so guys, today we are going to be showcasing my Rainbow Int LR Rosé from the 5 year anniversary. Of course, with max link levels and also some pretty solid skill orbs. We got level 5 attack, level 5 crit, and level 3 crit plus level 1 attack for the gold skill orb. And that gives us a grand total of 23 critical hit in the hidden potential system which gives Rosé a 46% chance to crit. And we also have 22,435 attack, which is a lot. So offensively, I'm definitely expecting some big numbers here. And defensively, he's actually better than some people might think. Like even though his defense stat is not gonna be super high, as long as he can super first, then he's actually not a bad tank since both his 12 key and 18 key supers greatly raise defense for one turn. Okay, so with all that said, let's uh, get right into it. And as you can see, we're running a Patara team on the first rotation. We're linked up with the Scatter Vegeta as well as the Tech uh, LR Vegito. And he has two links activated, Fierce Battle and Big Bad Bosses. Actually, once we super, we're also gonna get Legendary Power. So that's three links in total. Defense is at 113,537. And let's see how we're gonna play this. I'll give three orbs to Vegeta. And that's gonna be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, uh, So that's better. 11 key for a 20 key super. Nothing too crazy. Could have been better. But uh, at the very least, we should have his full passive activated. And I think it's still gonna be enough to kill the android. 19. We'll see. Oh yeah, that's that's definitely enough. Never mind. 8.8 .8 million. Yo. And All right. 12.6 million damage. Hmm. Hmm. It's been a while actually since I've used Rosé. And I only probably used him once since I maxed out his links. So I kind of forgot just like how stupid this unit is. And man, is he still freaking busted. Even though we've had, you know, quite a few broken units to come out since the five year anniversary. Like this guy's raw damage output, especially on the first turn. That was the first turn, guys. The first turn. It, it just blows me away, man. Like, like, <laughs> I don't think some people recognize how crazy it is that he's getting 8.8 .8 million attack without having to stack anything, without having to build up his passive or anything like that. Like, I know some people are gonna be like, yo, I, I've seen that before. You know, there's a lot of units that can do that. And while it's true that there's quite a few units out there that can actually reach like those heights eventually, uh, most of them take a while, right? Most of them have to like stack up for many turns or you know, have to wait until their active skill can be procced, which sometimes is, you know, a certain amount of turns or a certain amount of HP or whatever. But this guy, nah, man, just out of the box, right from the beginning of the battle, he's he's doing stuff like this. And this turn should be even better because we're getting more links from the um, Fizz Goku Black. And we have a full 24 key super. So I'm expecting minimum 9 point something, 9.3. That's what I was going to say, 9.3, okay. So we went from 8.8 .8 to 9.3, 12 million crit last time, 13.5 this time. Yo, are we going to just like one shot the entire event? I I'm actually kind of interested to see now, like is it going to be like every single time that Rosé supers, the enemy's just going to die immediately? Because if he's going to keep doing damage like that, then um, it's actually pretty likely. It's it's actually pretty likely. So I'm gonna try to not super as much as possible with the off rotations, because obviously we're here to uh, you know showcase the rosé and watching other people's animations just waste more time. 
So, ooh, this might hit him. Mm, actually, you know what? He's got a lot of defense. Should be fine. Should be okay. But yeah, like I was saying, Rose being able, to, being able to put up numbers like that is something that not many units in this game can do, right? Like just from the from the from the jump from the beginning, uh, I can think of like, you know, LR uh, Jiren, uh, LR Goku and Frieza. And I'm sure there's a few others out there. I can't really think right now because I'm still like shook by what the, not the damage numbers. But um, yeah, there's, there's a few out there, but the list is pretty short and most of the units that can reach that do need an active skill like Tech Broly or LR Blue Boys or something like that or need to stack for a long time. So yeah, this dude's crazy, man. This, this dude is uh, quite, quite insane. And I think actually... On this turn, it should be even better because we got five links activated. We got Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Big Bad Bosses, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power, Missing Dismal Future, and Fear and Faith, of course, but that's okay. Uh, this is gonna be, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, that's more. So that's gonna be a 24 key super. There we go. And it will let the Vegito super uh, too, but I don't think it's gonna be necessary because, yo, know, even though I love 18. We're gonna have to kill her here. All right, Rose is gonna finish her off. <laughs> what more can I say, man? What more can I say? All right, well, there you go. 11 point, I think it was almost 11.2 million attack. A crit once again, of course, like I said, 46% chance to crit, so, you know, fifth, uh, basically half the time we can crit, and so far every single turn, has been a critical and uh i am definitely <clears throat> definitely not complaining i need some water man hold on let me just give these guys some orbs it doesn't really matter what i give them there we go uh, actually man are we gonna if the goku black gets super at the end i'm a little bit worried we might die i don't think so but it, it is a concern All right, so, <clears throat> so yeah, um, man's a beast, <laughs> Rosé's a beast, there's not much else to say besides that, oh, he's dead, well, look at that, all right, I wasn't expecting to actually kill um, 17, but that, that's fine, that's fine, so now we're on 16, we got two supports, um, I could actually proc the active skill, but I don't know if I want to, I might save that for a little bit later. Um, for his active skill, of course, you become immortal, and uh, you have attacks effective against all, but your actual attack stat is a lot lower, so I'm not sure if there's really a purpose to showcasing that, although I'm sure some of you guys want to just see the animation, so uh, maybe the next time it's available, I'll just use it for fun. Okay, so here we got, okay, 9 million attack. We got double supports, but the difference here is that um, we actually don't have a lot of links activated. And wow, we did not one-shot him. We did not one-shot him. Interesting. Okay, so we took a hit for 81 damage. And we took a super for 22. That's actually really good. That's actually really good. I'm just a little bit upset, honestly, that we didn't, like, one-shot throughout the entire event. Because, like, that would have been really dope, right? <laughs> like, that would have been a really dope thing to say. Like, yo, I literally one-shot every single stage of the event with Rosé. So we didn't do that. But uh, nonetheless, he has been very impressive so far. So I'm not going to fault him for that. Okay, he doesn't crit that one time. If he did crit, that definitely would have been over. Uh, that being said, enjoy the uh, beautiful animation for Vegito Blue. Still one of my favorite animations in the entire game. No question. And there goes 16. And we're going to move on to... Who is it now? Oh, Cell. Okay, so... Cell is... Uh, AGL, so type neutral here, and let me, let me just give like one orb to him, let's give a bunch of orbs to Rosé, and a couple orbs to Goku Black, I do think that as long as we crit here, we should still be one-shotting uh, the, the, the cell, but we'll see, we'll see, maybe I'm getting, I'm, I'm like, overestimating his powers, but I don't think I am. 9.3 mil here. If this crits, Cell will be dead. If it doesn't crit, he is dead. Okay. <laughs> Man. Okay, so as long as we're critting, like, nobody's surviving. 
right? Like, it's just it's just not gonna happen. And now we got the Vegito fusion, and uh, it's it's pretty much over. We, we got the double Vegito rotation. Uh, we're actually, like, uh, try as I might, uh, there's like really no way for me to not kill Cell here. Like, we got the double Vegito. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna give these guys like one orb each, but they're such monsters that I don't think it's gonna make a difference. And I, I know we're not here to showcase these guys. I know some people, wow, 6.7. Oh, by the way, my uh, Vegito Blue is also maxed out. So that kind of explains his stupid attack stat there, right? 6.7 plus the 5 million for the additional. There might be another addition. There isn't. Okay, so uh, this is going to finish it off. All right, we're going to move on to the Biz Perfect Cell, I think, is the next enemy. Uh, I was right. There we go. Yo, it's been so long since I've done this event, but I still remembered. Actually, uh, kind of proud of myself for that. Uh, ooh, okay, so Rose is locked up now. Um, that's not what you want. That's not what you want. That's actually really annoying, because now we can't get the Legendary Power, and Fierce Battle, and Super Saiyan. Uh, well, I guess we'll just give one orb here. Uh, one orb there, and that's still a 24 key super, I believe. It is. And we save the token attack, although the token attack is still going to come next turn. But uh, that's pretty much going to be the showcase, guys. I mean, let's let's talk about what we learned here. Let's talk about what we um, you know, can take away from this video. And I think the only thing that you need to take away is that Rosé is still an absolute beast man there's no two ways around it or wait is that the expression I i'm pretty bad with the expression sometimes so i'm not really sure if i said that right uh there's no no way around it hmm well either way he's a beast and um and and that's that that's pretty much the only takeaway man he's still one of the hardest hitters in the entire game or one of the best damage dealers in the entire game and, uh, I, I mean, I guess he's not even that old, right? Like, for, for Cobalt players, he's only been around for, like, three, four months. For JP players, though, he's been around for, like, nine months or ten months. And, or at least, yeah, at least nine months. And in three months, it's going to be a six-year anniversary. So I think a lot of people have already, like, moved on from him or, like, aren't as impressed with him anymore. But, yo, if you got this guy with some decent skill orbs, you got him with max link levels, he's still going to be wrecking shot, man. Right, he's still gonna be one-shotting most enemies. Like take him onto Extreme Super Battle Road, and he's gonna be one-shotting a lot of the enemies. Defensively, like I said, he's not the most impressive, but as long as you can get him to super first in the in the second or third slot. Um, oh crap! Look at that. Yo, phone's even telling me to to, to wrap this up. So yeah, phone's dying. Um, Rose is actually not gonna even be on rotation next turn. So that's pretty much gonna be today's video, guys. Let me know in the comments down below. What you think about Int LR Rose with max link levels? Are you impressed or were you expecting more? I don't see how people could have been expecting more than this. But uh, yeah, if that's your opinion, feel free to voice it in the comments down below. And I mean, that's that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your viewership as always. And uh, of course, now that, like I said, since there's nothing much to do on Global, actually, you know what? That's not true. There's nothing to do today, but in a day and a half, we should be getting the Super 17 EZA. And then after that, we should be getting the uh, World Tournament. So there will be stuff to do later on, but right now there's nothing to do. So I might start working like today on some other showcases for max link level units. Um, I've got a few that I still haven't like touched yet, like Medito Blue, like uh, my STR, LR, Blue Gogeta, um, Fizz Vegito Blue, so on and so forth. So, yeah, if you guys have some suggestions for which units you want to see at max link level, feel free to let me know in the comments down below as well. And uh, with that said, with that said, we're going to do one final super here with Rosé and call it a day. Okay, you guys are awesome. Thank you again for watching. If you liked today's video, then make sure to like the... T oh, are we going to one-shot? Of course, lower attacks that. This time we don't have any supports or some of the links activated. Uh, ooh, not quite. Not quite. We're taking a super here for 44k. Yo, that's legit. That's legit. Oh, I'm getting distracted. Uh, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And 
If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.